Okay, so I should have taken a quick bathroom break. And then drink some water, but, you know, I'm just very excited to do this video. And then also kind of just get this over with. Go for my walk. Lower my sodium a little bit, uh, etc., etc. So, <clears throat> so, a while ago, might have been earlier this year, actually, January, February, I did a video, or maybe it was late last year, and just look in the upper right corner, all right? real quick and they even do daily buybacks too so that's really nice uh, I did a video on stablecoin farming but I never really had a chance to do it and it was also right before I figured out my new content format for YouTube which is now what we're doing now where I cover specific projects and I try to rank specifically for specific projects right so uh, so I've been meaning to do a new stablecoin farming video that's dedicated to something like this. So, uh, I don't know. I know I'm definitely adding this to the playlist. I might I actually go to my YouTube channel. What do I actually have for my playlists here? Uh, and thank you again, everyone that's jumping in to, okay. So what is this? Uh, what do I have here? Uh, so this is my general overall view, how to find which projects I'm in, which is talk about the playlist, and then, of course, dealing with fear and FUD. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably never going to take this one, because it's always the same thing, fear and FUD. It's like, uh, you know, whatever. So I probably will add it to my person, to that other secondary playlist, all right? I already forgot my personal degen strategy, because whenever you're doing crypto, obviously, you know how... Uh, volatile and you know dumpy the markets tend to get in fact crypto was going up and now it's going back down a little bit so I mean I'm kind of curious to see what's gonna happen I think the stock markets are doing pretty good dollar index is up uh, bonds continue to be bought up so cash is going definitely flowing into the stock markets and the bond markets so cash was going into crypto markets but it looks like they're selling off a little bit because I guess people want to buy into other stuff and EVAC is already back at $49 it was like 40 bucks yesterday so anyway if you're so to deal with volatility you really just have to go into the dollar I mean that's really what it is or whatever you're native uh, fiat currency is so the british pound the south korean yuan the yuan or renminbi if you're in china and then the japanese yen like whatever i don't know what they use in the middle east uh, i know israel they call it the new israeli shekel right so i don't know if you know if people from israel watch this but you know but you get the idea right you want to farm stable coins right like actual fiat you want to get get out ah, great yeah, just go away so so yeah so this is a beefy finance app they obviously have changed the uh, entire outlook of their site so it looks really nice uh, i actually like it much better than their old ui uh so it can be a little confusing but you can see the different chains obviously i want all vault <sighs> vaults all vaults I want stable coins because we only want dollars. We don't want anything tied to the dollar. We just want dollars, right? We don't want like phantom dollar because when phantom goes to like 20 cents or 40 cents, 48 cents, you know, your position goes down too much, right? And then you have to go over here, sort by whatever you want, but I sort just by APY, right? So, yeah, I mean, it's nice that these safety scores are here and you can mouse over the question mark. And you can uh, look over the APY and APR to see what your, you know, the breakdown of your rewards. So what exactly is causing this huge spike? Okay. So, yeah, it's what I thought. The trading value on U.S. Terra and Binance Dollar is basically what's causing the APY on this to go really high. So that probably means it's going to go much lower. So... So, I'm, so right now I'm in this one. I'm putting all my stable coin farming right in this one. And in fact, when you click it, it tells you when was the last harvest, which basically means when did it, when did this whole thing compound? It was actually one hour ago. Uh, before that, it was actually uh, 24 to 30, 47 hours. It just says a day ago, so I don't know. 
This used to be a lot slower too. It used to be like every like few days and even up to seven, eight weeks. So it would take forever. Uh, that may not always be the case though. And of course this APY is going to go down eventually. So the reason why I'm in this one is because UST, right, US Terra, for whatever reason, which is over here, Terra USD was like down a lot. You can see over here. So we click over on Terra USD for some reason. <laughs> excuse me. For some reason, can you see this? Yeah, for some reason, like as of yesterday, like yesterday, it went down as, um, oh, I thought it was 61 cents, but this thing was down to like 75 cents. And of course, it's a stable coin, so it's going to go back to a dollar. So, <laughs> I don't know, but I've always liked Terra USD. I always had high interest, right, on beefy finance when I used to look and decentralized and they look legit and they got like five to seven or ten billion dollars worth of terror coin so i know there's a plenty of them out there and uh one thing i also look at is the tvl and beefy finance you know i like to see large numbers all right and basically it's two million dollars yeah perfect so you know so if you bought terra usd at 75 cents you probably and then now it's back at like 92 cents it's actually going to go back to a dollar right so I mean, you already made capital gains off of literally risk-free dollars. So let's say eventually this the trading APR goes back down to normal because obviously everyone's buying and buying and buying. So it's cr creating a lot of trading, uh, LP, tax, liquidity, pool farming, right? Because everyone who provides liquidity has to collect tax on it, right? You know, called the... I already forgot what it's called. I just call everything a tax now because that's what it really is. So it's looking pretty good, and the specific reason why we want Beefy Finance and not the actual native platforms, in this case PancakeSwap, is because it auto compounds for you. So you deposit, set, and forget. If you go on the actual platforms themselves, like PancakeSwap, usually you have to come manually, you have to pull out the money, recombine everything, and then put it back in to, you know, uh, compound. And that's just very annoying. Not to mention gas fees. And this thing really needs to stop annoying me. Gas fees, and more importantly, you're losing out on money because you're not compounding at an optimal rate. I'd rather have something like Beefy Finance do it automatically for us. So, so it's a no-brainer. Plus, on Beefy, I can compare this to like all the other stablecoin farming pools. So, like, there's really no reason why you would not want to use Beefy. All right, or using something similar if you prefer, you know, someone else th other than Beefy. So, all right, so let's say I have to move out of US Terra and BUSDLP because the APY goes back down to something like normal. All right, so what do we look at? This is the same thing, but on a different platform. So we're not going to touch that. Plus the TVL is like 2000, so it's just useless to us. Now, there are plenty of other, like, what I'm seeing is the APYs are pretty good using Tether and USD Circle. The problem is these are centralized stablecoins. So that you could, in theory, be dinged by any government entity, the IRS, and they'll just blacklist your wallet and then you lose all your money. So I really don't like that, all right? You know, I want, I mean, yeah, I want my crypto to be anonymous because I don't want people trying to hack my shit, all right? Because... In fact, XQC said yesterday that he doesn't even use his phone that much anymore and doesn't use it for any two-factor authentication because he's already been phone hacked twice doing the SIM swap shit. So I don't know what his phone carrier is, but he, like, I, I, I mean, he's also a really famous guy with, like, what, 8, 9, 10 million sub YouTube subscribers? I don't know how many. I just know he's gotten several million. And that's very old information from like a year ago. So he's probably more famous now. I mean, it's like, geez, you know, that's why you need, you need, pro the stupid RPC error that the stupid site's getting is very annoying. So yeah, that's why you just want to be anonymous, right? You have to avoid all of these problems. So I wouldn't, I mean, it's very tempting because this is such a good APY. Like we're talking almost 40%. Like you easily overpower inflation and then the dollar demonetize, uh, dollar devaluation by the Federal Reserve, right? I mean, just look at these numbers. I mean, it's just, I mean, right now the rate of printing by the Federal Reserve comes out to around 14 to 15%. I haven't done any of the new updates since then. I just know that it's just gonna, your dollar is becoming more devalued every month. Actually, it's technically every minute, every day, but the Fed only releases the data obviously once a month, 
and with some kind of delay. So, so you're overcoming that. Then the rate of inflation by their own numbers is supposedly 8.2%. So that means you need to earn at least 8.2% to match inflation. So this is way beyond any of that. Now, I'm trying to figure out, do you have to combine the rate of inflation with the value of the dollar, the dollars being printed at a rate of like, you know, 14% a year? So you're losing 14% a year. And I thought to myself, you could print as many dollars as you can, you, uh, you can possibly get because ultimately the value of your dollar is really dependent on how much stuff you can buy with it, right? For example, I like to buy an apple pie, uh, like the place I buy groceries at. It used to be four dollars and forty-nine cents. Now it's at five bucks, right? They raised it ten cents, and then in a, like a week after that, they raised it like you know to five bucks, which is what it is now. In fact, when I go to that store after I finish these videos, um, I guess we're gonna find out. It's still five bucks. Now, if at the end of the year it's five fifty, right? So what does that mean? So my apple pie went from $4.50 to $5.50. So that's an increase in price of 10%, 20, like 25. Holy shit, that's actually a lot. How do I how do I how do I calculate this? Uh is it four fit no, is it five is it this five dollars and fifty cents divided by four dollars and fifty cents? Okay, so the price of my apple pie is increased by 22, okay, that's a lot, 22.22%. And I also went to Burger King recently and I looked at the price of gas at $6.50. Well, it's $6.49, but we get the idea. It's $6.50. So, yeah, actually, crap, we actually are not earning enough interest here. And the other thing is, I'm kind of curious, is the Federal Reserve raising interest rates going to have an effect on stablecoin farming? All right, the interest rate going up. I mean, theoretically, it should, right? Because if the 10-year yield and really U.S. bond yields keep going up over over the long term, then I mean, theoretically, this should be going up too, because everyone's interest rates are going up. So why wouldn't this go up? So yeah, see, if I look at wait, this is not. Uh, let me look at this one. Yeah, tether circle. If I look at mouse over this, this says. This is from PancakeSwap. Vault APR is 1.4% a year, but the trading APR, of course, is 36%. I mean, right now, everyone's going in and out of the dollar, so there's plenty of trading APR, so that's good for you and me. So, uh, I'm not, uh, and that's the other thing, too. There's plenty of other stablecoin farms that look pretty good, but I try, to, I try to avoid things that are very difficult and have, like, three or more tokens. I only want one or two tokens at m most. And I prefer it on a platform blockchain that has very low gas fees. So of course, I love Bi Binance Smart Chain is my home chain. So of course it's a no burn. Go go away. So it's a no burner for me to use this, right? Uh, but if I need to move out of Terra USD Binance Dollar, I would probably be doing uh, my USDC. I'm not happy about the USDC part, however, but I might actually just do MIM, right? Magic Internet Money, right? 21.4% APY, still pretty good, all right? The TBL is a little low. I don't know why, but I, I'll put money. I mean, I don't have I don't have so much money that, like, not yet, that I would have actually inflate the hell out of the TBL myself, right? I think I've heard of Geist before, or I might have used it one time, so... So maybe I might be a little like, eh, okay, TVL is a little low. So maybe I might bite the bullet and just go my stable coin and USDC LP and just get like 22%. Because look, I know all this is good. I We obviously use QuickSwap a lot. I still use it, right? Because now that, because of Sphere, right? Sphere and Tattoo Swap, right? Very strong TVL, almost $24 million. I know I can't go around with this. Frax is also really good. The problem is I don't know how to get Frax. It's so difficult for me to buy this thing. Uh, let me see. Has it been made easier to buy this thing? Yeah, it takes me to the Frax website. And then this is what happens when I look at it. All right. Uh, this is on Phantom, right? So do I go like this? Wrong chain. Switch. Oh, so it's on Binance Smart Chain. Okay. All right, 
See, look at this. Well, I don't understand. What is this? Why do I have to select a bridge? I have to, like... That's why I've never done Frax, because I just don't know how to buy the thing. I know it's really good. I know that when Metaverse Pro and Sim... Well, Sim's not using Frax, but... Back during Metaverse Pro and Congruent, they were really all about the Frax. All right? And in fact, when you look at... Uh, Olympus Dow Ohm Forks, right? Everybody always held Frax as part of their treasury. So it's like, yeah. So if you can figure out how to buy Frax, yeah, this would be really good too. It's decentralized, pays it often pays a very good APY, and there's always a lot of TVL. I mean, it's actually another no-brainer if you can figure out how to buy it. So I'm like, ah, all right, fine, whatever, I'll pick something else. I've never heard of this one day USDC, but uh pays almost 29 percent it's got a tvl of almost 16 million dollars maybe i should take i mean I, the problem is i just don't want to do a usdc so what would i really do if i had to swap out what would i use well i'm definitely avoiding avalanche even though this is actually really good money so we have wrapped us ter terra us hmm platform pangolin and then you have Curve. Yeah, Curve is always the big one. So you have Terra UST, USDC, and Tether. Yeah, Curve is always good. And of course, it's Curve. So, you know, the king of stablecoin DeFi farming in the world. So it's got a perfect... I assume 10 is a perfect score. What do you mean Pangolin has a perfect score of 10? Yeah, so, I, so you also get a little bit... You also get 2% more like a, about 2% extra yearly APY. So yeah, I would totally do this one. I mean, I'm not happy that's on Avalanche. So I know my deposit, my, the gas fee for this is going to be insane. Because those stupid F-word a-holes on Krabata Game are still not leaving. That's not, the, that's not, that's not what I want. Snow Trace Gas Tracker. They're still not leaving effing AVAX yet. Like, they've been promising to leave for like a million years and they're still not leaving. This is the old tweet from a long time ago. Oh, excuse me. Okay, we've indexed the subnet. Uh, read twice, but slowly. Okay, well, they're still working on it. Okay, fine. This was 20 hours ago. Great. So they're still working on it. Like, I don't know when they're going to leave. I just want them to leave. All right, but assuming by the time I actually may consider it, Krobata Games should stop hogging the stupid network for once. So, I mean, it looks like I really don't have too many choices. I mean, I'm probably going to have to actually do go into one of the centralized dollar thingies. Which I'm really not going to be happy about. I'm really not happy about it. I mean, otherwise, I would have to try magic internet money. But now here's the thing: these things are going to be these APYs are going to be changing all the time. So it's really up to you, uh, up to you how you want to deal with it. Uh, let me see. Is there anything? All right, let's actually sort this by Binance Smart Chain. So let's say I want to just stay on Binance Smart Chain. I mean, I could just bite the bullet, and then I would just go into US Tether and USDC LP, all right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, trading APR on this is also very high. Yeah, which makes sense because everyone... I don't know why this has no safety score, but this is obviously very safe. I mean, in fact, it should be a perfect 10, so... And it's got 2 million TVL, 2.1 million TVL, so good enough. So, yeah. I mean, I might just bite the bullet and just move into those things. So, I don't know. It's up to you to decide how you want to play this, but I'll, I'll help to figure it out. Uh, let me see. I turn that back off. However, I do want the higher yield, so... And I'm also going to hope and thank that... Whatchamacallit is done... Actually, what is Pangolin? I've never heard of Pangolin. So, let's say I want to buy whatever this is. So it's going to, it's taking me to app.pangolin.exchange and let me actually switch to, 
Hold on, where are you? Avalanche. So let's switch to Avalanche. Let's connect the wallet to MetaMask. Error. Try again. Jeez, what are you doing? Oh. Okay, for some reason it didn't give me the pop-up. I had to manually approve it. All right, here we go. All right, so, all right, looks good. All right, switch to beta UI. All right, so they're obviously improved. Oh, man, this is way... I really don't like this. This is just... Oh, okay, this is just a dashboard. Oh, God. It looks much better, but I like this because it's a lot simpler, and I've seen this... We've all seen this a million times, this UI format. All right, well, whatever. I guess I'll deal with it later. All right, so, yeah. All right, so... Let's see, and their safety score was a perfect 10, I'm sure, right? Uh, yeah, it was a perfect 10. And it's got decent TVL, 705,000. I mean, if I had $100,000, yeah, I could put it, I could, I wouldn't affect the TVL that much if I had an actual 100 grand. At one point I did, and then I lost it all. Effing Metaverse Pro. Combined with the stock market crash of February 2020, right, due to the thing that involves the jab, right, and then of course Congress had insider knowledge, so they all dumped their positions, and we, you and I, got shafted. Very, uh, just, I can't believe no one went to jail for that bullshit, but whatever. So yeah, so maybe I would switch to Avalanche, because this APY is good. Yeah, the gas fees might still be high at that point, or if Carbona Game for some reason still hasn't left, right? Because they're just being jerks about it. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, half my money is still in Terra USD, right? So I don't know. A lot of people like using uh, USDC and Tether. So I don't know, like again, like I said, just I guess I'll just bite the bullet. Alternatively, I could just go on Hotbit and also do their stable coin farming. Hotbit.io. Let's take a look at that. But again, the idea is you want pure stable coin farming, and you want it to be as low risk as possible because the risk is already very low. However, you know you want to make sure. I don't know who she is. Uh, you know, you just want to make sure they get a very good return because you got to beat inflation and the Federal Reserve, right? Because they're printing money at least at a minimum rate of 14 to 16 percent a year, right? So yeah, you you really need a high APY. And I mean, I mean, here's the, uh, do they have something here that's just stables? All right, so I'm just gonna write US. Hopefully, I'll just show me US because <sighs> they all spell it. Yeah, I mean, you don't get that much. Yeah, you can get 10% a year. And this is not compounding. Yeah, so you get 10% a year. So it's barely matching the rate of inflation. Yeah, so beef finance is still superior in every way. Because on Hotbit, you don't actually compound. You gotta you gotta withdraw, wait two days, and then compound. So it's it's really crappy. But it's safe. It's also safe to use that too. And they don't require KYC either. So the, yeah, they just don't care. <laughs> they just don't care. Because I think it's actually run in China, right? And it's funny because they don't serve as Chinese citizens, but it run it's run in China, right? Because of because uh, for whatever reason Beijing and President Xi or Xi Jinping doesn't like Bitcoin or crypto. Now they're regretting it, but I mean they're still pretty hostile to Bitcoin, so oh well. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, but anyway, this is basically it. Uh, these things are going to be changing all the time. I've basically given a breakdown of like pretty much everything. One thing I will want to keep an eye on is this new uh, thing called Day. Actually, you know, let's just take a look at Day right now. So how do I buy Day? Because uh, it says it's on Spooky Swap. Uh, so I have to actually change the Phantom because it's not... It's not showing properly here. Okay, well, it has an output currency of... Is this even correct? All right, so for some reason, it's not working. I mean, this is technically in beta, spooky.fi, so spooky swap. But yeah, there's day stable coin. So let's say I put in like, you know, 100. Yeah, very low price impact. I mean, there's no money in here. Wait, I have to connect to my wallet. 
Oh, thanks for ruining my thing. Uh, let's just put 10,000. Price impact, not very high. Uh, it goes from USDC to day. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and this is the liquidity pair, day USDC LP. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess day is a brand new stable coin too. That's pretty good. Uh, because again, I mean, $16 million, literally $16 million can't be wrong. So, I mean, yeah, so, so that's good. The more of these, you know, stable coins that come out, yeah, it's got a pretty good safety score. Day stable coin. Is it actually on the top 100 here? Okay, so, okay, that's really hard to read. I'll just read the Google. Gateway to fractional bridging. Day is a fractional reserve stablecoin that enables cross-chain liquidity with one native unified bridge. Deus Finance, the day stablecoin. So apparently they're related to Deus Finance. Okay, it's a governance token. All right, so what's the price of, okay. So I remember that Deus Finance had that huge controversy on Phantom, right? But I mean, they seem to be doing okay. So can I search for Deus? Deus Finance, there's a couple of them. So I think it's this one. I assume this is the right one. Deus.finance, yeah, that's the right one. So all time. I mean, it's doing all right. I mean, it had its peak in April 2nd, and then it goes down like everything, everyone else. And now it's doing all right. Okay, so it's actually fine. All right, so I think I have, I remember it might have something to do with the super predator problem, but I think this should be okay. So this could definitely be something I'll have to look into. But day, but day stable, stable coin, which is from Deus Finance, apparently. You know, that could be a pretty good, that could be a pretty good uh, stable coin to go into. I have to check to see if it's actually, de let's just do it now. Day stable coin, decent, I mean, it said it's fractional. Uh, okay, fraction of, uh, and I trust it's stable. Okay, low risk cross chain and no over collateralization required. Uh, I, mean, I think it's, I think it's pretty decentralized. With no slippage. Okay. We're going to be allowed on the top of the earth, so that's why I'm going to the code trust the stable coin fraction. So they actually, so apparently they also back this coin by using a bunch of other coins, but they use, they do use fractional reserve banking, apparently. They really have these kind of feeling they to shut down during such an occurrence. Uh, but, uh, or a cloud you know, would be unaffected or surgery you know, would be attempted. Okay, so this is just in case like the one of their stable coin reserves like USDC circle in this case, as an example, there's a fail safe mechanism. Buying day burns day as tokens. Very good. You can read the breakdown here. Okay, so I mean this does look pretty decentralized. So yeah, we could probably I would probably check out day as well. I mean the APR is lower than the others, but you kind of have to balance decentralization versus centralization risk as well. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on. And of course, all these APIs will keep changing. I really need to close the window. It's freezing in here. I think my apartment's more than uh, aired out properly. So I know I'm going to look for, for a walk. So just put the blinders back on. So anyway, uh, this turned out to be a pretty long video. But eh, that's okay because, again, this is all about safety. That's why you're doing stable, pure stable coin farming. So it's very important to go over like you know every little detail, right? Because if you had like one, two, three, four, hmm, excuse me, five million dollars, right? You're going to be putting in the beefy finance. You better damn well be sure that your effing money is safe.
All right, all you know, because all your hard work is basically going into something like this. All right, there's a reason why a lot of pools have like one, two, sixteen, twenty-one, fifteen, sixteen million dollars in TVL on beefy finance. All right, the total TVL. I think this is on this entire website. Yeah, TVL by chain. So we could click that. Uh, there we go. There's me again. All right. I mean, this is a lot of money. This is almost a billion dollars with a B. It's not. It's quite far away, but this is just like this is so much effing money, man. Yeah. I mean, it's a. Uh, yeah. You're gonna have to play it safe. Every. No details too small to analyze. All right. This is your life. This is your money. Maybe you might have like. Husbands and wives and kids or something, right? You know, your family's future literally hangs in the balance if you make a mistake here, all right? I mean, yeah, I lost a lot of money, but I'm single. So it's like, all right, fine, whatever. Yeah, it really sucks. But imagine if I had a wife and I had kids and then I lost all that money. This is, it's, it's a lot more pressure, all right? It's going to be really bad, all right? It's like, you know, the, you know, son and daughter, instead of getting ice cream, well, you know, they're going to have to... They gotta eat frozen water popsicles, all right? They, <laughs> all right? That's that's what they're gonna be. That's what they're gonna be uh, eating for ice cream, all right? Frozen water, <laughs> literally frozen water. So, yeah. Anyway, definitely check out app.beefy.finance. I don't. Know, but stay, click stable coins. All vault, all vaults, and sort by APY. You can also sort by other things too if you're interested in that. But, you know, you want the highest APY with good TVL. And, of course, you know, usually the safety score on all these is pretty high anyway. So, because this is, this is all low-risk stuff. So, it's just a matter of, you know, centralization versus decentralization. All right? Which is why I like Terra USD and BUSD because I know this is fully decentralized. I know for some reason people say Binance is highly centralized. But, first of all, it's run by an actual Chinese guy. And, two, he doesn't even care about the money. He's actually like a really solid guy. He's like, he's not a super predator. He's actually a nice, rich billionaire. He even gave Elon Musk $500 million to help him buy out Twitter. I mean, what what more do you effing want, you know? <laughs> so, and he even said it himself. He, he's going to give away all the money or he doesn't care about the money. He just likes doing what he's doing. And by the way, he's not a tribal. So that's like, to me, I love this. I love it, I'll, you know? So, anyway, my personal position is UST Terra and BUSD because I'm taking advantage of Terra's, you know, still below $1 peg for whatever reason. So I'm willing to risk it. And Atata, I mean, look at this APY. I mean, even the Vault APR is still higher than all the other Vault APRs. Oh, except maybe this one. This one is just insane. How is there no trading APR on the Avalanche of this? All right, well, yeah, bolts. Okay, well, oh, this one has three tokens in the curve. Uh, yeah, I mean, the curve is just really good. Oh, yeah, that's one's low TVL. Uh, Volt APR, yeah. Okay, I don't know, whatever. You know, but these things will be changing, so you might have to uh, observe once in a while. And, uh, yeah, it compounds... It used to compound very slowly, but now it does seem like Beefy finally got this to compound once a day. You might get lucky and it'll compound a couple times a day, but, you know, maybe other days it'll compound once every couple of days. So just bear that in mind. Because again, when I click this, if I switch over to BSC, last harvest was two hours ago. So last uh, compounding was two hours ago, so... I am done for the day. This video turned out to be pretty long, but we really have to cover our tracks because, again, this is this is your safety video. This is your safety in the crypto and really overall financial space, like pure U.S. dollar farming. Because where else are you going to get these kinds of rates of return on your U.S. dollar or whatever fiat you know that you have? Nowhere. So become your own central bank. This is how you become your own central bank. So, yeah. So I'm already putting money into this. I'm not going to say how much, but I'm going to be adding a lot more to this. So, I mean, between losing on protocol, Titano buying, and this, I mean, funds are going to be stretched. But, I mean, well, and I'm not going to be touching my sphere because I've been rating my sphere like crazy. So I want that thing to be, uh, you know, reaching my benchmark. So, you know. 
Oh, well, whatever. You know, hey, I'm perfectly happy. I've already printed money in USD, BUSD, LP anyway. But thing is, uh, I was constantly depositing, depositing more and more into this liquidity pool. So I don't know how much profit I made off of the compounding from two hours ago. But, you know, whatever. Enough for the day. Like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, definitely uh, share this if you found this useful, which I'm pretty sure 100% it will, because it has to be. And uh, thank you again to all the old and new people watching, uh, watching this. And uh, yeah, just hit the subscribe button. Let's grow this channel. All right, let's push for 1600. And yeah, uh, I feel I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I just kind of hope that crypto is uh, not on the downturn when everything. Oh man, come on, come on. If I, the stock markets are going up, well, actually, it's starting to come down a little too. I mean, I don't know. I, problem is. Money is really flowing into the debt market, so I, don't know, I guess we'll see what happens. All right, I'm done. I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, we did a lot of work today, so I don't know, maybe I'll only do a couple videos tomorrow, but yeah, we'll see. If there's no content tomorrow, I mean, I'm just going to do another round of just analyzing, you know, random projects and XYZ, you know, because. You know, I don't want to take a day off unless it's like a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, right? The usual weekend, so. All right, anyway, enjoy the rest of your day or night. I got to go. I got stuff to catch up on. And, of course, I got to buy some spinach. And, I don't know, I'm going to find out my apple pie is going to be like $5.50, you know. Jeez. That was really eye-opening. I actually did the math. 22% inflation on uh, apple pie. All right. This is... Ah, things are gonna definitely get a lot more hectic. So yeah, we definitely need to farm that that the U.S. dollar.